What do you see when you look at the keyboard? Now, a full-size piano keyboard has 88 black and white keys. Well, that's a lot of keys to think about. Fortunately, the keyboard is divided into visible patterns that repeat from top to bottom or bottom to top, and this is actually something about the piano that is easier than for some other instruments. Instruments like the guitar or ukulele don't have as visible a patterning to their notes, and other instruments like the violin or cello don't have anything to see at all. You just need to learn where your hand position should be and then use your ear and muscle memory to find the notes. So let's talk about these patterns. You can divide them in several ways, and the more patterns you can recognize, the easier it will be for you to translate them around the keyboard. Now probably the easiest patterns to see are in the black keys. We have two black keys, followed by three black keys, and then two again, three again, and so on. And down as well. Three, two, three, two. And you can hear if I play one of these keys, and then play the same looking key up in the next pattern, we have the same core sound only higher. Similarly, if I play the same looking key one pattern lower, we get the same sound only lower. We call the actual sound that the keys make the pitch. And without going into too much detail, um, the reason these pitches sound the same aside from how high or low they are is because they share some essential physical characteristics that are different from the pitches around and between them. All you really need to remember, though, is that a key that looks the same as other keys going up or down the keyboard will sound the same. Only higher or lower. This is why being able to see the patterns on the keyboard is a powerful tool, because it allows you to more easily see and play notes that are the same. Okay, so around these two and three black key groups, we have some distinct white key groups. We can think of the three white keys surrounding the two black keys as a group, and the four white keys surrounding the three black keys as a group. So here are the three around the two black keys. And here are the four white keys around the three black keys. So you have three, four, three, four, three, four, and so on. You can also think of all of these smaller groups put together as one big group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not a pretty sound, but still a very visible group. And all of this, as you can see, can also be considered repeated in these bigger groups going up and down. Twelve notes. That's all we really have here. And yet there are almost infinite combinations of them to be used with a higher or lower versions to create most of the different music we have um, in the piano world. Thanks for watching this lesson from Liberty Park Music. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something from it, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it around. Let your friends and family check it out too. If you want to find more lessons like this or explore other piano-related topics, please come visit us at libertyparkmusic.com. We have full piano courses ranging from beginner to more advanced levels, and everything is online and streaming 24-7 so that you can design your music learning around your schedule and learn in the comfort of your own home from a talented roster of professional teachers and musicians. Come check us out.